well this video gonna be really crucial for you guys so i will uh, request you to stay and stick and give me two minutes for this because um, like by understanding that you will be able to apply the similar types of uh, uh, strategy on your framework project and everything because when i started my career i was the similar person like i didn't know anything and i was confused by but by practicing and everything now i can say i am a amateur level person who can do something in framer and that's what i'm going to share today so the upload input file in framer uh, if i click here you can see it's actually binded with our framer form the native framer form so uh, it will work the similar way the rest of the input file working at this moment and it's totally binded with our form by using submission so uh, there is a little bit hierarchy and a little bit different architecture as well here because people are uploading file here and that is that needs a, uh, that needs a storage i can say and what will be the storage because framer don't support that type of uh, file storage uh, system here and which is understandable and i i totally appreciate that what we can do here uh, we can tweak a little bit uh, different strategy and by adding a different storage uh, platform here by integrating that with this input form and that's what i did and let me share the architecture here so this one is our form right this one is our front end interface and here we have email input name input and the upload file input we have created here and in uh, like implement that and what it will do first if i say uh, when people uh, upload the file the file will be store in storage server using api and that will be stored here like uploaded the file and it will automatically generate a uploaded uh, files uh, url downloadable url or view viewing url if it's image and that will be uh, like returned as a url here on our submission form and once you click the uh, submit form here the whole information including this one will be stored as a data or using email the one you prefer like it can be able to store the file on your like csv file like google sheet or excel sheet well let's go back to our um, framer interface and this one is our input field right so if i expand that the file upload input file i binded that with our native framer form from here so let me start that again so you can, uh, if you want to publish your website uh, super first for your client projects or for your agency or whatever you name it you can follow this uh, video from my channel this one that i'm going to uh, share on my description part or also on the uh, information section here as well so this video will guide you how you can scale your uh, website publication super first uh, from the traditional one by dragging and drop or copy and pasting components uh, that already made here so yeah you can take a look on that and understand so this one is our framer form and it has so you can see we have multiple levels here the first one is name level and the second one is email level and the third one is location level right so i need to create another level by duplicating that and remove the select component and i'm going to copy mine one this one file upload one and i'm going to paste that here uh, the existed level i can name it like upload file and that's where i'm going to paste my component and that's how you can bind uh, the upload input field on your native framer form because it will gonna work properly no hassle or no like error you will face there so that's how you can bind that so if i click on the upload input field you can see there is a record option as well so if i click here if you click this one it's showing the like record field here warning because i enabled that here so you can also control that from this uh, submission form button and let me connect our storage because that's gonna be necessary here and i won't take more than one minute or two minute for that because uh, when you are going to create uh, a similar form for your client and to maintain privacy and everything you have to connect your client's account like cloudinary account that i'm going to use the storage i am meaning it's called cloudinary and i can bring that here you can see this one you just need to create an account and i just created this one 
uh, from scratch is totally new and I'm going to set up everything here so you can understand everything better so you have to use your client cloudinary account to set up to maintain her, their privacy and yours one as well so that's why I uh, binded that in such a way so you it will uh, cost your own storage not mine and that's why I can share this as a free for you guys as you are my community people and also subscribers so yeah it's totally free and i will share the link and everything on my description part so you can take a look on that well i just set up the steps here so i just completed the steps here and it, it was irritating for me as well so wait um well uh let's uh, uh, click on skip one you can set up those later so my internet a little bit slow today so i'm taking apology for that so you can see this uh, this is our interface and this is uh, one is our cloud name you have to copy that and bring back to your uh, uh, dashboard and you just need to paste that here and then you just need to click on your asset and you will see this one is your asset interface and you just need to click on your folders and you have to create a new folder here this one and I can name it tape and you can name that here as well the folder name and everything and let's go back here and if I click on this folder it's totally empty at this moment so let's go back the setting option and here you will see um, well um, the API keys option here so you just need to set up your API and I already have that so I just need to copy that and paste that here and if I go back again I just need to go back on our upload option and I need to create a new upload preset here and you can name your preset is Dave Shams okay and I can go back here preset name and you have to add the preset name here as well like if I expand that you can see this one and go back here again and you just need to uh, asset folder you need to mention that the folder I have created so that's something like that but if we have any subfolders you have created something uh, like shams stored there you have to mention that something like this so I didn't create any subfolder so the dev folder is totally fine here and the rest of the part you can use uh, like you can enable or disable that based on your necessary but you have to click on unsigned one and I can save it well you can see our preset is ready and you can see our dev shams option and if you want to edit that you can also do that from here and you can see our PID is visible here I just need to copy and paste that here um, public ID and that's it like I filled everything by setting that so if I go back again and click here and name my name and something like this and click the option to upload any file and choose any role here and click on submit you will see it will be visible on our um, cloudinary at this moment and click on asset and our folder and the dev folder if I click on it you will see it's already uploaded here right it's under your own account so there is no privacy issue you are going to face so I binded that uh, the submission form and everything using my mail and if I go back to my email and I can share that with you you can see Shams email address and everything it's sending me but it's one minute ago right uh, it's, it's happening because um, the location xx the file value because I didn't change the file value here like if I click on this one the file value I mentioned the UX diagram right the value is XX that's why it's showing XX there and also the location I mentioned here but it should be um, uh, it should be your role right so that's why it's showing something like it, it in, in, in a wrong way but you just need to set up those properly from here 
and that's the reason I, I got a wrong one. Yep, everything is fine now. So I'm going to upload that again. Shams Nahid and email address again and upload the file like um okay let's upload this one and i'm going to select the ux diagram again and the file size it's it's showing and i just need to click on submit and i'm going back to my cloud directory first and click on here and refresh that again and i already got my email here as well so if i bring back this one again you can see the role is xx because i didn't change that there as well just xx it's showing and the email address and everything is showing properly and if i click on this link it's visible here the link it's working and here as well so what it does is just upload the file here and bring back the uploaded url that is visible for people or downloadable and that's what it's bring back to our form and after i click the submit button it's actually gathering everything and send me here i binded that with my um the whole form i binded that with my email but i can also bind that with my google sheet or webhook whatever you need you can set up that here the whole information will be stored there properly so you don't have to face any issue there well now i believe you already got the whole system architecture like how the system is working and that's how actually a full stack uh application api request also work in a similar way if you incorporate that in your full stack application it actually works in the same way like file upload or using uh, any like database how the file up upload actually work first it uh, upload the file on their storage the database storage and then it send the uploaded url that you can use access using uh, like publicly or privately it's up to you and that's how you can maintain your file storage from your uh, like database or storage uh, whatever you name it it's actually working in, in that way and i already covered another one the recapture one as well and this one as well everything will be free for my community people and all my, for my subscribers so you don't have to pay any penny there you just need to use the code that i'll provide on the uh, like description or the email one like once you select the component and submit that I will send that to your email address using the promo code and everything so you can grab that from there well if you face any issue you can uh, comment in comment section and I will try my best to assist there so yeah have a good time bye